Hey there and welcome to today's Bala Beam workout. Today we are using the 15 pound Bala Beam and I think you're gonna love these moves. We're gonna target the arms and the legs today and it's going to be a 15 minute exercise. So I hope you enjoy these moves and comment below what moves you'd like to see in the future, what exercises you'd love to see. First, to start off this exercise, we're gonna warm up the body with a few warm up moves. And then we're gonna move into our two sets of three moves each that we're gonna complete two times through. Start by swinging your arms side to side while lifting the heel of the arm that you're swinging. Alternate sides. This is perfect for activating the core and making sure we're stretching those hip flexors and getting those legs a little burned too. Next move we're gonna do is a lunge with a dynamic stretch overhead. So once you lunge down on that left leg, reach those hands to the sky and lower. Reach and lower. This one is a perfect total body stretch. One of my favorite warm up moves of all time. Switch sides and complete the same lunge on the opposite side. Stretch it to the sky and lower. Stretch and lower. You're doing amazing. Even this warm up is a workout. Next, we're gonna activate the chest and the upper body. So we'll do some quick arm swings back to front. Get a nice stretch in the chest and circle those arms out. So form a T with your hands and make a little circle with each side. In just a few more reps, we're gonna grab the Bala Beam. Now you can definitely modify and use some dumbbells for this exercise if you don't have the Bala Beam, but I highly recommend using the Bala Beam because it is just perfect and a great addition to your home gym. So grab that Bala Beam and gently put it over your neck on your shoulders in a comfortable position. I'm gonna to move to the side of my mat, squat down and lift. Make sure you've got those knees behind the ankles. Press the booty towards the mat and squat as low as you feel is comfortable for you. This is your workout, so you can modify these moves to fit your needs. And I'll try to give some suggestions if there are any for these moves. These are pretty basic moves that we'll start with, but just in case you need some modification, you can also do this move without the weight just to start with so you can get in that comfortable position. And last one. Perfect. The next move, keep your bala beam in the same position on your shoulders comfortably. You can take a rest if you need to. And we are going to lunge back with the right leg first. So we can really practice that form for this particular lunge. We're gonna stay on the same side. But don't worry, we'll do the other side on our second set. Make sure those knees stay behind the ankles. And take this one slow. These look pretty, but they definitely burn. And it takes a lot of balance when you have that ball of beam on both shoulders. So take it easy with this one. This is a true burner, just a few more. Get ready for our next move. It's going to be a lateral lunge. Start by stepping out with your right leg. Take this one slow, form is key. Take that booty down and back while you extend in the opposite hip. Again, using this bala beam is a real challenge to your balance, especially if you're on uneven terrain like I am outdoors. It's a little hard to keep good form, so make sure that you're just doing the best that you can and keeping that knee behind your ankle. All right, let's set our ball of beam to the side and take a quick water break.
All right, so by now you know these moves. We're gonna move into our squats with the bala beam on our shoulders. And we're gonna do the same moves from the first set one more time through and then move on to the next set. So get that bala beam on your shoulders in a comfortable position and squat. Squat down to the mat and squeeze your booty cheeks at the top. Squat and squeeze. Squat and squeeze. You've got about 10 more seconds. I know you can do this. Keep going. Last one, amazing job. Now get ready to move into those lunges on the opposite side this time. So if you started on your right leg, this time it's your left leg. So lunge back. Keep a nice sturdy stance with your bala beam. Bend that back leg and pop to the top. You have about 10 more seconds and then we're all done with this move. That's the last time you're doing these lunges. Now let's face the short end of the mat and get ready for our side lunges on the opposite side. So again, if you started on the right side, let's do the left side this time. Even things out. Keep that bent leg pointed towards the short end of the mat. Don't let it cave in or point out. You'll notice as you're lunging down, you're keeping the opposite leg straight with a little bit of a micro bend in the leg. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Also with the extra load of the bala beam on your shoulders, just make sure to keep your shoulders neutral, meaning one shoulder is not popping up higher than the other. Try to keep them as neutral as possible. And this balance helps not only work your core, but also helps keep you safe and keep you in alignment. All right, let's drop that bala beam now. Feel free to take another water break if you need it. It is such a hot day outside today, so I am taking a water break, taking some electrolytes in to replenish from this workout because it is killer. Now let's move into set number two. So we're gonna have three moves and do these two times through just like the first set. The first move we're gonna do is a bicep curl. So curl that ball of beam towards your chest. Stop it about the shoulders and slowly bring it back down. Keep your back long, strong, and confident. Maybe give a smile too if you're feeling it. You pull the bala beam towards your chest, try to keep your back nice and stable, nice and strong. Try not to sway too much front or back. Keep a nice micro bend in those knees. And we're all done. For this next move, we're gonna to move to the mat and do an overhead press. We have an underhand grip, so your palms are gonna be facing towards your body. And then you slowly pull up at about a little bit of an angle, about 45 degree angle above your body. If for some reason this does not feel comfortable for you, you can do a smaller range of motion and you can also do the opposite handed grip with your palms facing outward if that feels more comfortable for you. For this next move, we're gonna do a V-sit position with our palms facing inwards with the ball of beam, twisting side to side. This one really targets the abs, but you're also getting a really good burn on your biceps. You have about 10 more seconds and then we're done with this move. 
for this round. <laughs> We have officially completed round number one of set number two. So let's go to round two, set two, and then we're ready to cool down. The first move, as you know, is the bicep curl. So stand on your mats and curl to your chest. Slowly lower down, really target those biceps and triceps as you lower down with those concentric movements. If you want a little bit of core action here, squeeze the booty, squeeze the abs, and really engage that core as you do this arm-focused move. Two more and you're all done. Perfect. Let's lower ourselves down to the mat so we can do those overhead presses the last time through. You got this. Keep your core nice and tight, chin tucked in like you're holding an apple between your chin and your chest. and you're all done. Now let's target those arms and abs with our little V-sit twist. This one is one of my favorites, but it's so killer and really gets exhausting very quickly. So take it slow. You can always do this with a lighter dumbbell give a little practice because again, as with all of these moves, form is key. You're really gonna start feeling those bicep muscles really burn out because this is a static pose for the bicep muscles. You made it to the end of this workout. You did such an amazing job. I'm so proud of you. Let's stretch it out. Reach one arm overhead as you stretch that elbow using the guidance of your opposite hand towards the opposite shoulder. Give a nice gentle tug to the opposite side. You'll feel it in the hip flexors as well. And opposite side. Nice little tug. I'm really feeling it in the arms and the abs and the legs. This is a total body bala beam workout. Clasp the hands behind you. Give your chest a nice stretch. You'll feel it on the shoulders. This one is especially nice if you work at your computer all day. It's one of my favorites. Give a couple more stretches side to side. Swing those arms front to back. And thank you so much for joining me for today's workout. I'm so proud of you for joining me today, making time for you. And if you'd like to see more exercises, then definitely check out the description below and the end card of this video.